Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video um, in my Squadron Tower Defense playlist. This time, bringing you a uh, three X random draft game. So. Really not sure what the correct setup is here. Um, I'll go with this one for now. This looks okay. One thing I can afford to be is a bit more decisive with my builds, but I'm happy with what I got, so. So getting a gauge on the range, I have sprites, specters, and rangers, so. I'll put the... Sprite's probably in rank D, right? I'll probably sprite here. And then you don't have anything, like you might want to build, yeah, thinking about it like, you have two lines of tanks this way, and two lines of sprites here, two lines of the other ones here, specters, and rangers here. Uh, man, it's a tough decision, but I'm, I'm okay with this for now, because it's going to be a while before I think about building Theosis, so I'm not really too like thinking about it too much. So, again, Warden can't hold Wave 1 himself, so he needs a Spectre. And the Spectre's getting surrounded, so, yeah. Not good. So. And they also sent a Marine, which is tough. Yeah, so I think I'll be leaking wave one, which is pretty sad. But what are you gonna do? Leaked quite a bit actually, so yeah. Uh, I'm tempted to send something like kind of dirty to get get some get back, but I don't even know if it'll work or not. I'm tempted to send a Titan Strider just to send one. Like, if I hadn't been in the first position, I might have helped, but that is what it is. And I'm leaking 15 units on round one, so <laughs> that is tough. Alright, so taking a look here. The correct approach, I do believe, is to either upgrade. Yeah, probably upgrading to Wraith will have the most immediate effect on my team. Yeah. And this upgrade is, what, 240? So I don't think I can get it next round, but yeah. Ranger is obviously one of the best picks. Um, in terms of, like, that's what I'm saying, in terms of immediate effect, um, what should we call it? Uh, getting the most uh, value out of, like, a full line of these units is really important. So that's what I'm going to do. I do need to start gassing as well, so. Interesting, a woman picked a, I don't know if he was there for the perk selection or what, that's a terrible perk, so. But yeah, to take advantage now of Volley Fire, I'm going to fill this entire rank out with Spectres because, um, you know, they all benefit from Volley Fire, so there's absolutely no reason not to do that. So, yeah. Uh, actually, the next thing to do would actually fill the next rank out with Rangers as well, so. Take my time and get that done because. 
they benefit so immensely from that. The structure, you see, every one of these troops is going to benefit from volley fire, I believe. Okay, yeah, so. You see that weapon speed increasing. Very close here. I actually may end up um, cashing out one troop to get an elite warden, and then I can guess from there. Because I know that I need to step up and get more uh, uh, income, and gas and income, so yeah. Close, so in this case, I'm just going to sell one tower and get my elite warden. And with with set with a solid tank in place now, I can start the gas up process. So yep, that should be fun. Also need to get rangers, and that'll be really important for the boss. Even just one elite warden with this line of specters the way it is right now. I'm talking no upgrades, and a line of melee I will get the boss wave complete. So then I can figure it out from there. So you see, as the troops come in here. The volley fire is, is getting value. We got a leak here from Willman. I mean, he picked a really bad perk, so maybe he was like delayed on the perk. That's a good perk. That's fine. He must have a defensive star structure. Yeah, Willman left. It makes sense, actually, so. Alright, uh, so I'm going to keep gassing aggressively because I want to catch up and gas. You know, I feel I have what it takes to, to make that push, so. So you see these troops firing fast, which is nice. I built some rangers behind this, what I have now, so. So these go up to six and a half range, and I want to put my theoses, like, in this position here. Like a line of theos on F, so. I'll get the rangers here at range seven and a half. It's quite nice. Okay, so that's a good position to be in here. And keep it going from there. So some specters did fall, but the back line is holding strong. And all these troops just continually benefiting from volley fire. It's fantastic.
Very close. I needed a bit more punch from the DPS line. Uh, get that remedied up for wave 8. Okay, so from here, two melee eyes, the safest decision. Have them in the back. So the warden held as long as he could hold. Not playing great at this point. My value just isn't high enough. So I've got to do what I can, stop the gassing and get higher value from here. Really, this is a, a horrible draft build. Like, it's amazing to me, like, it seems like it would be so simple to pick the right builder and draft, but then, like, I just don't always pick the right builder. Yeah. Okay, two more melee eye. Then for wave 10, I'm also going to get, you know, as many melee eye as I can, so, yeah. That's the best approach, I think, for now, because this will this wave will also have some sort of ability to slow the boss down. I think it slows attack speed, right? And movement, yeah. So they all slow attack speed and movement on the boss. Or at least these upgraded ones do, the wraiths. So let's see, the Melia in the back should be making a difference here. You see, this time the we, I don't leak because the wave is able to hold. And you see, that's what's happening here to Red. Is He's gassed up a little bit, so now he's getting some leaks, but he does have Melia, which means he'll probably be in a position to hold for the boss. I mean, I'm, I don't know if he will or not, but I'm saying because he got the one of the best troops in the game, uh, pound for pound, he probably has a good chance of holding. So, yeah. So, same thing, uh, you know, he has to make sure that he hasn't gassed too aggressively now. And he's got to get his value back up, basically. Alright, here we go. And I think I had the toughest send for the boss, too, which sucks, but that's okay. I gotta believe it'll hold. Oh, no, I don't. That's, that's not what it is. So from here, I'm going to get one more melee eye. I mean, to me, this is the best choice. Nothing else like actually makes sense. Even getting a sprite here might not be too hurtful, like a bad decision, because it's just like for one round. And then um, you see here, because this range is six and a half and this range is six, it shouldn't step on each other's toes if this one's a bit further behind. I think, yeah, I, I think so. I think that'll work. Because it's actually really important to make sure I don't slow this wraith. Because he's doing really well. So let's just take a look at it. You see, because their range is just that m little bit, yeah. So I'm counting on the melee eye to do something useful here. And they have. They have done very well so far, so, yeah. That'll get it done. Good stuff. Actually, probably our teammate without the melee eye is the one who leaked, so... Not sure what's happening here. It's sending lings when I'm clicking Q. That's really weird. 
Okay, I don't know what just what just did that, but yeah, there must be some kind of feature there that's kind of cool, I guess, but like not really when you like don't want that to happen. Okay, so decisions, decisions. Honestly, I'm in a bad state for tanking, so uh, let me up uh, appraise two twenty seven, two twenty seven. So you're getting thirteen. So twenty six. I'll get actually twenty six for two of them. It's uh, it's very needed actually. Because the, from here on out, the need for tanking is really, really important to start getting a wall of tanks. Every round, if I can get an elite warden, it's very essential from here. Their slow is also just so good to hold the enemy troops. Makes a big difference. Because you see here, even with the warden tank at like maximum capacity, I'm not in a great spot, so... I'm going to hold off on gassing from here just because I don't want to run into any problems in the more difficult waves. Good job to red on SS. Alright, able to get one gas at least, so gonna start the climb up a little bit. My value is good, my value is the highest, which is solid. Because I have very low gas, so it should be something at this point, you know. So you see just how fast, even with three elite ward in here. He was able to get BBG, which is really good. I think we should be able to hold because he has Earthshock, you see here, so. Honestly, I'd like to see him take control, yeah. Because he's put the most resources in here, so yeah. One, two BBG should still win this round. Good stuff. Okay, so... Honestly, I'm just gonna guess even more aggressively from here because... Holding up the last wave, I think I'll hold up this wave also. So, yeah, you see we're both starting to catch up in gas. You can see Red's value soaring, which is nice. He's got a Ranger heavy build with the Meridian. And also two prismatic alignments. That's cool. It's a pretty cool builder, half breed. So he hasn't gone for the upgrade yet. I'm gonna save for the next wave because it's no joke. So you see here, my tanking is still going down. Isn't that amazing? In spite of three elite wardens, it's still not enough to hold the wave, so. So you'd like to see if, if Blue can maybe infuse or... I'm not sure what his plan is, but he's going to keep doing whatever he's doing. So my melee, my troop should hold for a little bit, which is good. Their numbers are looking real strong here. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Able to do something good there. So another elite warden, and I'm gassing. I probably shouldn't have gassed. Actually, I'm gonna cancel that um, because it's not a it's not a good position I'm in right now. One more melee, eye and uh, I'll gas from there. Because uh, this way they can typically send disastrously big, and you can see here the elite wardens are fighting hard, but it's not working out. Yep, rolled, absolutely rolled. So. 
this point gotta SS something. Not sure what to SS, honestly. Probably overburn. Just get something there. So, not I do not believe we'll hold. So Yep, do believe this is game. Yep, GG. So with that I wanna say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care and thanks again.